Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Doc's Auto where we play Let's Voice Over Tim's Broken Microphone. Today we're replacing plugs on the wife's 2015 Subaru Outback and we've got the uh, specified NGK Iridium plugs here. Now it's not too much of a big deal to do uh, from what I've looked at online. Uh, shop wants about $500 for it, but really it's just a matter of getting in between the engine and the frame rail here, uh, behind the air box and under the battery box. So we'll go ahead and uh, take out that battery box. And we did find some instructions um, on, uh, on this gentleman's website here, I'll put the link below, Paul's Travel Pictures. Great picture by picture process for a lot of Outback repairs. So we're gonna use that as a guide and kind of walk you through the whole process here. So starting over here on the passenger side, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is remove the air box, which is a pretty simple task. Otherwise there is a uh, 10 millimeter bolt on both of the coil packs. You want to go ahead and remove those pull out the coil pack. I'm doing them one at a time so I don't get them uh, confused. And then it's just as easy as getting your uh, socket and your extension in the hole and taking everything out. Now due to the limited space between the engine block and the frame rail, I did find it was easiest to put the socket in first, then the extension and then finally uh, attach your socket and spin out the spark plug. I did happen to have, and it's probably a really helpful tool to have, uh, one of these little uh, grippy picker-upper thingies. Uh, best I can describe it, picked it up at an auction last year for two bucks. So uh, I use that to go inside the uh, hole for the socket and then open up. Uh, and spread and then remove both the socket and then I could go in there with the same tool and pull out the spark plug. You can see here on the driver's side, uh, I did have the battery removed and the battery box and uh, did remove the plate that also holds all the battery box and everything on, which gives you far more access to uh, get in and uh, take out the two uh, plugs on the driver's side.
thing what I was trying to say here is the replacement of the spark plugs actually was not that bad. Certainly not worth the $500 the dealer wanted. Um, just takes a little bit of time. I think this was probably a two beer project. Uh, not even that, uh, not even that big of a deal. So uh, basically we put the, uh, put the battery tray back in here and get everything uh, all tightened up and give it a good old test drive. So I guess that wraps it up here for the spark plugs. Uh, again, it was a pretty simple job. Uh, the only the only oddity we ran across was uh, in taking the battery out, uh, setting it down on the ground, it managed to reach about 18 volts. So that's not really cool. So that's why it's sitting over here in the garbage can. We will go ahead and get that, uh, get that replaced. Uh, strange as it's a battery that's not even a year old yet. So we'll just go deal with, uh, with the Subaru dealer on that and they're always great to work with. So. Uh, until next time, if you'd like this or didn't like it, like and subscribe either way so you can either find something you like or continue to mock me. Uh, otherwise, stay safe and have a great day. Bye.